Don't let the design of this keyboard fool you because the FL Esports OG87 packs a lot of punch in that very retro looking design. Thank you to FL Esports for sponsoring this video. This keyboard starts off at $99.99 and comes in two different variants a TKL size and a 98%. Now both of these are the same price point. With that being said, inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a wire, some extra really nice keycaps, a switch and keycap holder, and everything is color coded to match that retro gray aesthetic. This keyboard is south facing and has tri-mode connectivity with a slot for that 2.4 hertz dongle, so that's always nice to see. It does also have a pretty big 4000 milliamp battery with Windows and Mac support. We are looking at a spring gasket mounted style, but it does have flex cuts in the plate and PCB, which is not something I really like to see because that does lead to a thinner typing experience. Now to counteract that, they do have a bunch of foam in this keyboard, including PE foam. Now, of course, if you don't like PE foam like me, you can always remove it. But for this video, I will not be doing that so you guys can hear and know exactly what you are getting. Like I said, this does have that retro gray aesthetic and they did a really good job capturing that look. And the typing experience is quite nice as well as they are, including some pre-lubed linear switches which don't really have any scratch to them. In terms of the stabilizers, the stabilizers are pretty lubed. Most of the modifier keys are pretty solid, but my spacebar did have some rattle and just sounded a bit weird and a lot louder than every other switch on the keyboard itself. And you'll be able to hear that in the sound test coming shortly. Not a massive fan of that spacebar sound, and I do wish the lube job was a bit better in that regards. Now at the top right hand corner you have something that shows the caps lock, the scroll lock, and the multi-link which is very nice and does also fit that retro style like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And above that you have a little switch that you can move right to left or keep it in the middle which change it from wireless to wired or to 2.4 hertz mode. Now what I don't really like is at the top left hand of this keyboard it kind of just says original and on the 98% version of this keyboard it says FL Esports, which again, both of those two things, kind of an eyesore. I know you have to put your logo somewhere, but I'm not too sure if the top of the keyboard is the best spot for that. With all that being said, here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how this keyboard sounds right out of the box. So yeah, it does sound like a PE foam keyboard, of course. Might sound very generic, but the feel is there. Removing some of that foam would make the gaskets perform a lot better, but it's not as stiff as I was expecting. For what this keyboard is going for, I do think it nails that design aesthetic perfectly, and I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below for you to check out. But let me know what you guys thought about the FL Esports OG87 in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.